You're gonna pull from here, from your lats. So basically, most important thing, I'm gonna keep myself right center. Biggest thing, good, activation here from the lats. It's difficult for a lot of people who sit at a desk job to have the right innervation of all the muscles they forgot to use. So waking up stuff like your lats and your shoulders will teach you to retract your shoulder, and pull your scapula down, versus having it up and forward all day when you're at a desk. So this exercise here is great warm up for everything else. Anytime you do chest day, anytime you do any shoulder activity, straighten your shoulder joint. Here, lat active, good. And you can change the resistance, man. Right. Either way, it's tough. This is yeah. very small muscles, very small wake up. Activate here, shoulders down, rotate, good. No pull in the elbow, much better. This side a little easier than that side. This, you're dominant on this side. This arm is so used to being in the wrong position, you have to wake it up and retrain the correct. Again, pull. Shoulder down. Good. Last one. Good job. Release. We're going to go to core. So same concept. When you push out through your core, instead of shoulders being up, yeah. I want your shoulders down. Lats active here. And then diaphragmatic breathing. Deep purse breath. So when would you use this again? Uh, diaphragmatic breathing or the shoulder exercise? Both. The shoulder exercise I do with any athlete facing me. Uh, that does any shoulder sport. Waking up your lats and controlling that shoulder socket. Warming up all your rotator cuff muscles. Squeeze. Push. That helps with desk posture, teaching people back posture, a squat even. When his shoulders, one rolls before the other, it's very obvious. So here, he's active in his lats. He's going to show diaphragmatic breathing. He has a straight back. And now his abs are working only because of his breathing. His abs are controlled and contracted because of band, but they're now working through the breathing. Good.